pre-play thermal paste on stock in aftermarket coolers is decent, but you're usually better off replacing it. To do this, you're going to need some supplies. Now, I've got a screwdriver here because I've already got my cooler installed, so I'm going to have to remove that. You're going to need isopropyl alcohol, 90% or higher. This is also known as rubbing alcohol, and this is going to be used to get the thermal paste off. You're also going to need a lint-free cloth. You could use a microfiber cloth or uh, paper towels work just fine. Just make sure it's clean. And finally, you're going to need your thermal paste, of course. I recommend Arctic Silver 5. That's what I'll be using in this video, and that's what I usually use. Step one is to prep your workspace. Make sure you have your isopropyl alcohol and your paper towels and all that stuff ready, and uh, put that in a different spot from your computer so there's no accidents or anything like that. Get your cables unplugged, power your system off, uh, remove any cables that may be connected to your cooler, and you should be good to go. Step 2. Remove any screws that are holding down your water block or your cooler. Pull that water block or cooler off and prepare to clean off the thermal paste from the water block or cooler and the CPU. Now you're going to wet your paper towel or microfiber cloth or whatever with the isopropyl alcohol. Now make sure you use your judgment. I like to start off by using a little bit, but you don't want your entire cloth sopping with this stuff and getting all over the place. So again, use your judgment and you know what's best. Now you're going to take that cloth and gently but firmly wipe off that thermal paste from the copper plate. Don't stop until you're certain that it's completely clean. Next up is the CPU. Now here you want to be sure to be very gentle, very careful, and make sure you don't miss any spots at all. Now when you apply the thermal paste, they do give you a lot in the tube usually, but you really don't need that much. All you need is like something the size of a pea or a grain of rice, and you just gotta put it down in the middle. And then when the system turns on and stuff, all the heat will spread it around, and uh, it'll do all the hard work for you. But all you gotta do is take a little pinch and just put it straight down the middle, and that should be good. Now with the thermal paste applied, all that's left to be done is putting the cooler back on. And when you do this, make sure you don't over tighten or leave it on too loose. It needs to be on just right so that the thermal paste can spread out and fill in all those little holes and allow the heat to go through nice and even. So that's about all there is to removing and applying thermal paste. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need any help with something or if you have any questions, you can feel free to put that down in the comments below. Maybe someone else or myself may be able to answer that. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like and uh, subscribe. Really appreciate that. Go check out my video for more. Check out my channel <laughs> for more videos on tech and gaming. Um, feel free to. Uh, Give me any suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. Voice your thoughts, of course, anything like that. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ashington DC, and I'll see you again in another video.